Well, tonight, the party leaders take to the debate stage for the only English language debate, from the body language to the verbal deflections. Lauren Sergi joins us uh, with stuff to look out for. Why are debates important? Because they've been holding press conferences uh, throughout the campaign and before. Why are debates so big? Debates give the politicians a chance to square off against one another and kind of position themselves as, as a nice gut choice for people watching them. The debates move very, very fast, which means most of the viewers' responses are going to be gut-based or emotional-based, and it gives them that opportunity to show grace under fire, give the appearance of victory, whether they've won or not, and all of that can help people commit to their vote. Not Whether or not it changes vote behavior is debated, but it gets people to commit to the person they like. So a lot of people have been talking about this election, saying it's not really issue-based, but sort of mudslinging based. Uh, are we expecting to see that? And, and how does one uh, handle that when faced with it in front of millions of people watching? Well, with the mudslinging actually serves a really, really important purpose in debates and in campaigns in general. It, it tends to be disparaged as cheap shots, but ethos, credibility, and reputation base are, are such a big part of how we decide who we're going to vote for. So all of these ad hominem attacks against people's character can really change people's opinion of, of who they like, who they feel is a good choice. So Trudeau and Scheer are going to be especially vulnerable in this mm -hmm. in this case, you're probably going to hear a lot of what aboutism here. Well, this person did that, but what about the thing that you did? There will be a little bit of that going back and forth. And as far as getting around it, ideally what you want to do is deflect, is deflect the mud, but then turn the argument into something that you can, that does work in your favor, and that you do have control over, instead of just trying to shoot back, well, yeah, I did this, but what about you? That's when it starts to look a little bit juvenile. All right, so what should viewers be looking for? If, if they are undecided, and there's a big population that are right now. Yeah, there's a few things, a few strategies that I really like to watch out for. One is what kind kind of argument are they making? Are they trying to appeal to their sense of credibility, put themselves up as the right choice, bolster their reputation? Or are they trying to make a really emotional kind of argument that's going to get me thinking with my gut instead of my head? Because that's a strong manipulation tactic in terms of the arguments. I want to know how they're controlling the arguments. So whether or not they're actually answering the question or whether they're trying to spin the argument into something that works better for them. And then I want to see what their argument actually is. Are they offering me a choice, saying this terrible option, or us, the wonderful option, is that the, the core of their argument? Are they actually giving me proof, evidence, talking about policy? Are they providing me something like uh, values that they're trying to get me to align with? I feel that this thing is important. I won't talk about it in detail, but I know you feel that way too. That's good. We like each other. Um, or are they trying to assign blame to someone else? Are they trying to take the, take the heat off themselves by blaming Blaming someone else for all of our ills. You know, employment is down with your government by this much money, uh, sorry, this, this yes, many yeah. jobs, without actually considering the wider economic factors that might be dealing with that. So what is their argument? Are they answering the question? And how are they trying to answer that question? Do politicians ever answer questions? <gasps> it's debatable. <laughs> it's debatable. But we can't have that debate right now because we've run out of time. You can watch the debate on CTV tonight starting at 5 o'clock until 7 o'clock uh, our newscasts will be preempted. And